So in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to blur an image as well as a background image using CSS. So you might be picking up that the CSS filter property is a convenient way to modify an image or any other element that you've got on your page. And there is actually a blur filter that you can use to blur an image. So if you pass in a value of two pixels to the filter, you'll notice that the image is reasonably blurred and anything more than that, and the image starts to become very blurred. So that's pretty straightforward for a single image element, but what if your image is set up as a background image? You can't directly use the filter function directly on the element that has the background image because any other containing elements inside that will be blurred also. So when the element has a background image and you apply the blur filter, you'll notice the text that's inside it, which is in the content div, is also blurred, which is likely what we're not trying to achieve with blurring a background image. So there is one quick solution to this, and that is to use a property called backdrop filter. But browser support for this property isn't great. I don't think it's actually supported at all in Firefox. I'll put a link to the compatibility in the description below, but we can achieve the same effect without using the backdrop filter property with a bit of CSS trickery. So if we now remove the backdrop filter property from the content element, the background image still remains blurred, but the text inside of the content div is not blurred. So you'll notice we don't get the nice clipping effect that we got with the backdrop filter property. But if you're just trying to blur a background image and put some content on top of it, this is the best browser compatible version that you can use. 